Hello again everyone, this is Amy and I am going to go through some of the guidelines for your PICO question assignment. I'm going to try to do this looking at the, um, whoop, there's my finger, looking at the PowerPoint that I have posted in Blackboard so uh, you can kind of follow along with me. So, um, the real question is why do we ask why in nursing? And really, evidence-based practice is that problem-solving approach that nurses use um, to provide the best quality care possible to their patients. And the nice thing about evidence-based practice is it integrates evidence from research and patient care data, but it also takes into consideration nursing expertise, the resources an organization has, and patient preferences. Um, and the most uh, successful organizations promote a spirit of inquiry in its nurses um, to promote that evidence-based care, that high-quality care. If you're hearing noises in the background, it's my husband making a cup of coffee in our new Keurig uh, coffee pot that we got for Christmas. Anyway, so I'm going on to, uh, there's different types of questions. Um, there are background questions and foreground questions. Now you have to be careful when you um, are doing this assignment to really ask the correct kind of question. A background question is uh, much broader and it provides general information about a problem. And a foreground question is much more specific and um, actually provides the basis for your PICO question. So, um, first of all, what does PICO mean? And remember, it means the P is population of interest, the I is intervention, the C is comparison group, the O is outcome, and the T is time. And in any uh, PICO question, there may or may not be all of the components of PICOT, but in general, um, the better PICO questions do have all of those components in them. So here are some example questions. Um, as you know, I well maybe you don't know, I'm, uh, I've been starting to run. I've been running now for about a year. And so um, a background question I could ask myself about exercise is what is the effect of exercise on stress, anxiety, and productivity of nurses? Um, because we all know nurses are very stressed out and we need to do things to, um, keep, to keep us under control and to help us be the most effective. Um, that's really a background question because it's very broad. The foreground question or the PICO question then uh, based on that topic would be do nurses who exercise at least three days a week experience a reduction in stress and anxiety and an increase in productivity when compared with nurses who do not exercise? So you can see that question has all the components of the PICOT or PICO. Another example um, I was reading the newspaper this morning and there was an article about veterans uh, going to support groups. And so a background question might be how do support groups affect the coping of veterans? Um, and the foreground question would be in veterans who are returning to the U.S. from active service, does regular attendance at support groups combined with behavioral therapy for at least two years decrease depression and suicide attempts compared with veterans who do not attend support groups? So you can see there's a big difference between the background and the foreground questions um, and you really need to have a properly worded PICO question. I have posted some um, other references and resources for you to use. I encourage you as you're doing this assignment to really think about that PICO question and make sure you have all those components um, because if you don't have a good PICO question I'll probably be working with you, but I'll be uh, returning it to you to, so that you've got a good basis for your paper. So I hope this was helpful, and you will find this presentation on our course. And have a great day. Bye-bye.